Hello, Comanche Native here, and we're checking out the Jade Stone Merchant in Portal Knights. Now, I like this mission only because this merchant appears in a nice looking house. And if I didn't regenerate my world, I would have a whole bunch of these houses on all the different islands. Why do I say that? Well, these missions repeat themselves, and sometimes they bring items that normally weren't there on the island there. When the mission is over, they usually leave that building or structure there. But if you regenerate your world, you delete all of it. And that's exactly what I did. I regenerated my world and I deleted all of those nice buildings that I was going to keep up. Oh, the pain of forgetting things. Okay, this is the building. Look at it. I like it. I do. Go ahead and kill the spiders that are on the outside. Now, what he wants you to do is he wants you to clear out a certain number of spiders for him. And I always clear out the ones on the outside. I think he wants you to clear out maybe five of them. There are a lot of spiders in here. Why? I don't know. Probably because of silk, maybe. I I, I don't know. He's just... He always... Whoa! Whew, did not see you there. Okay, now if you have the earphones on, you will hear, hear these little legs, spider legs, run all over the place, and it's kind of creepy, just a little bit. And I do apologize to those people who have fear of spiders. They put them in the games, that's just what they do, so. Now remember, we have to talk to him before we go to the basement, so let's go ahead and see what he has to say. How fortunate we shall meet these spiders have played a trick on me. They've woven a cocoon around my goods. Okay. Would you be kind enough to help me out here? I'll reward you graciously. Discount on armor? What do you think about that? Thank you very much. Please simply remove the spider webs while you're at it. Please also get rid of the spiders. Not that I can't do it myself, but, you know. Yeah, totally got you. I totally understand what you're going through, dude. Okay, wait a minute. Now, there are some spiders in his little loft up here, or his bedroom. Whoa, there they are. I apologize. Please forgive me trying to get a better view of these spiders. Listen to their legs. That's the thing that gets me, It's the legs. You just kind of hear them. And they must be really heavy spiders because you can hear their legs just make that crackling noise. Now these are the webs he are talk he's talking about. Now I don't know what you can do with the webs. I've just been collecting them. I mean, it's a nice place. Probably a little bit more lighting would be nice. No, I plan on keeping this building here because I'm not going to regenerate my world. Oh, I better knock on wood about that. I mean, <laughs> there we go. Because I do forget and I sometimes I regenerate my world and it goes bye-bye. But I do have notes this time. Oh, look at these guys. How did they trick him? I don't understand that. They tricked him? Like he made a deal with them and now he's breaking the, the bargain or something? I don't understand that. I mean, okay, I would totally be scared too. Make a deal with spiders, wake up in a cocoon and just, yeah, that's, that's what nightmares are made of. Now what these guys do is they go over there and they shoot out their web at you and it kind of slows you down. It does give you a little bit of damage. If you didn't have armor, the damage would probably be greater. Ooh, say good night. I was like, why? Okay, now all we have to do is clean up. We have to get rid of the webs. Now, just so you know, if you came here and you killed all the spiders before talking to the merchant, the only quest that you can't do is the spider one. Don't worry though, all you have to do is just leave the island and then come back to the island and then the mission should be there for you to do and the spiders will reappear. 
So if you were to, I don't know, farm for webs, it would probably be a good thing to do this over and over again. If you liked webs. May the Emperor's will be always in your favor. And now I will reward you graciously. 422 coins. Thank you so much. Alright, now usually he has some fireworks to sell. He has bamboo, raw jade stones, a uh, farmer's hat. And then, of course, these are the firework recipes that you can learn. Fourth of, Fourth of July was yesterday. So... Oh, wait a minute, what's this? What? Okay, this is new. Really, I mean, I did this mission a whole bunch of times, and this is new. Okay, I think I have enough for the armor. It's either I go for the armor or the sword. Armor or sword. Hmm, what to do, what to do? Armor or sword? I don't know, I don't know, I mean... We're talking about 3,000 gold coin armor here. It's totally worth it, trust me, because that, to me, that's new. I've never seen that, this is the first time me seeing that in the game. I'm just gonna have to get the whole set. Collect the whole set, why not? Okay, let's take a little tour of this place. Now, before, I would go and blow this whole facility up because I'd like the resources that were there. Now, since I'm going to attempt to keep a world without regenerating it, I am going to leave it here and just try to collect a whole bunch of these houses in different islands. That. I tried it before, but I, I got lazy. I wanted to collect more stuff, and I just regenerated after blowing up most of the stuff in towns and that was it so I lost all the stuff that I was I was trying to collect here so I will do it again let's look inside his nice home now once the mission is done he will disappear but his place will stay here let's go ahead and destroy all this stuff they give you some nice stuff in the barrels. So it is worth checking out. Now if you are new and you decide, well you know I don't really like to build my own homes. You just have to wait for this mission to pop up. And then you have one. Oh check this out. You see this? The, the vase, the vase. Once you place that down, that's it. Because you cannot pick it back up. It breaks. I know. I was so sad when I found that out. I mean, I made a whole bunch of those. And then I set them up and I thought, well, I want to... Oh, it, no, it didn't work. It just... I end up wasting resources. So once you set those down, that's it. Okay, there we go. Oh goodness! Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Is it? It's it's ye or yay? Is it Y E or is the Y silent and just going E or is it? Oh look, he had a mouse in here. He probably took off hiding from those spiders. You poor thing. Mickey Mouse had to hide from the big bad spiders. Am I right? Ye? Right? High five? Yeah? No? He's like, go away! You're destroying my place. I hate you. <laughs> We're just checking out your loft. I mean, come on. I like how this looks. Now, here's the thing. You see this cabinet? You see the little blocks in front of that? I'm thinking, what? He didn't want the blocks to fall down or the cabinet to fall down on him while he's sleeping or something. Mm. He does have a nice little bed, but look at this area right here. Yee's hidden stash. He's like, don't do that. You're leaving alone. Oh, stop. You're going to be gone in a couple of hours or, you know, actually a lot of hours. But you'll be gone soon. Your facility will still be here. And I'm going to claim it later on. I like the view. Look at this. Open up the door. Smell the mushrooms. Ooh, that fungus. 
Okay, don't smell the mushrooms. Now, making sure you destroy these blocks, these little crates, I mean, is really good because look at this. Look at this. This is expensive items that I'm making. And by expensive, I'm not talking about the value. I'm talking about how much materials you need to make each one of these blocks. These are titanium plate blocks. You know how much titanium bars I need to make these things? And you can't break these apart. So, if you come across any of these crates and barrels, collect them. Very good material that you're collecting. I don't know why they always have one barrel that's kind of away from the wall. I don't get that. Now, I do have plans for this place. Again, I'm not going to regenerate my world anymore. I know I said that once. I'm saying it again, but this time I'm meaning it. I'm not going to be lazy. Oh, you hear ye up there? He said something when I said I wasn't going to be lazy. What he said, I don't know. And it's good that I don't know ye. Little punk. Oh, he's, you know what? He can hear me down here, like when I get to a certain part. Now, I could take these barrels. I'm not going to take them just yet. I might come back for them. Because I do plan on making kind of like a, a wine cellar. A root beer cellar, maybe? Vintage root beer. Now, if you're a mage and you come across these blocks... Look at this. Boom! This will help you with your magic powers. You know the little blue bar that's over there to the top left? That. It'll fill it up. Alright, ye. I'm gonna about, I'm about to make you rich. Yes, that's right. I'm gonna buy the armor. Oh, goodbye, gold coins. Hello, poverty. And there it goes. Where is the recipe to make this armor? Do you, can you sell that to me, ye? Or, you know, please? 199 gold coins is what I have left. If I had gold coins in this real life, I'd be rich. Here? I'm almost broke. <laughs> oh, cruel game. You're so mean. You know what? I need the bow. I do. Um, I need this stuff because I'm working on another build. Okay, I'll be back. I'll be back to change. Boom! Check it out. I changed my armor, guys. Look how cool I look. I don't have any hair. You know what? It's tucked up underneath my helmet. I have like a, a bun. You know, that. This is cool looking! Dude, you gotta sell me the recipe to this. I don't mind it. Does it come in different colors? You're only selling red now? I mean, can you sell different colors like green, jade color, hay, or blue? Maybe even some gold, titanium? I mean, think of the possibilities. You and me, let's go into business. But first, I gotta go get the money for the sword. Hang on. Alright, I sewed some of my gold and titanium bars that I was collecting for rainy day. And guess what? It is raining. It is really, really raining in this game. They changed all you can mine. Now there's a time limit. Do you know what that means? All that gold that I collected in that video, it's starting to go bye-bye. <laughs> Why? Because there's stuff in the game that I, I, I'm i buying, and I, I don't. And plus, I die a lot. That. So. It's not my fault. Actually, it is. It is my fault. It, it was my fault. I had bad armor. I started to upgrade everything. I upgraded my armor. I put on the stuff I need to have so I don't die as much. Alright. You know, I am just a ranger. Trying to do the best I can. And poor little knights. Always poor. Hey, ye. Oh, I see you. You scared me the first time. I got you this time. 
You know what? I think they're attracted to you, dude. They just love... Oh, yeah. Got me a nice trophy. They love you or something. I don't know. Let's put this up. You know what? I think... This is not gold. That's not gold. That is... Bronze or copper. I think it's copper. Let's put this up. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's not gold. I haven't killed enough of those to get gold yet. How long has this game been out? Hush! Oh, here we go. I mean, these guys don't appear in the game, like, all the time. And I'm talking about the spiders. Yes, the more monsters you kill, you do get a different trophy. It goes to gold, depending on how many you killed. Ooh, wait a minute. You know what? I got money. I got money! Let's go buy that sword and then we'll kill those those spiders with that. Boo-boo-boo! He's like, give me your money. You know what? That's the reason why you have this wonderful place. Because you, you come in the game and you roll us, the players, and... But look, it's worth it! I don't mind it! A thousand, thousand gold coin sword! Yeah! Oh man, that is so cool! Alright, let's go test this out! I like samurai swords. I like how they're done. How they make them. It's so cool been watching documentaries about how to make a sword and I'm telling you it is worth the technique to learn now Ned of Mercy he collects samurai swords they are just for show I collect sometimes sometimes daggers and knives because I I like how they look you know they look totally cool now, we use some of Native Mercy's swords in these little short films that we did. And we told the actors, look, these are fake. Do not strike at each other. Oh, yeah, I got another trophy. They didn't listen to us. They struck at each other as you were clinging swords if you were doing a knight film. You know, knight in shiny armor film. That, that wasn't what we were doing. We were doing a little, you know, comedy skit short film. Anyway, they destroyed the short swords, and Native Mercy wasn't too happy. <laughs> but look at this! This is something that you can't destroy. Yeah! Look at that footwork. Ooh, throwing hands. You want some? You want some? They don't want some. They don't want none of this. I like it! Oh, man. Yee! Dude, let's talk! Come on! Look, I'll work for you, right? I'll come up with the ideas and stuff, and then you can sell it, and then I'll take a low percentage. Not too low. I mean, come on now. This game is kind of expensive. I need some gold coins, but I have some really cool ideas for armor suggestions and stuff like that, and I mean, we can go into business. You and I. What do you think? He's like, go away. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, now, listen. Listen, I look cool. Oh, wait a minute. Let me show you this. Okay, so if you come across this mission while you're playing the game, I do suggest going to it because now they are selling really cool armor. This is what the mission will say. Go to the location. Find this guy. Make sure you have 3,000 gold coins on you because the armor is worth it. The sword is worth it. It looks cool. Am I going to wear this? from here on out mm, let me take this no why I like how I look don't you guys think the bunny ears that I rock are cool thank you thank you I know some of you said no punks but the people who said yes thank you so much <laughs> oh look at that that is so cool dude here, let me give you my business card, okay? You and me, we can go into business, yay. I mean, come on. Thank you, Master, for making me look cool and stylish. He's like, get out of here. You're not even going to wear the armor. Aww. But I am going to test it out. I mean, I have to, right? And who else to fight but the Dragon Queen? 
My queen! <laughs> yes! Queen! Oh, man! Okay, here we go, here we go. Whew. Okay, I am a ranger fighting a dragon with a sword that probably not going to do a lot of damage. Oh, hey! She's like, you're back. Queen, are you gray looking? What's going on? Oh. She was taking a volcano bath. Ball. Look here, she's just moving. Oh, I got you that time. Ouch. Look, you look gray. Are you gray? She's like, shut up. <laughs> look at your nails, girl. <laughs> oh. Looks like I'm just trimming. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Alright. Oh. No, I'm not used to the sword yet. No, I don't want these things to spawn monsters. Ah, oh, man! Totally missed it. Oh, okay, so now listen, I do have a warrior. They're low level. Why? Because I don't like being this close to the monster. I mean, come on. Okay, she's... Oh, there we go, there we go, yeah! Oh, nice. I like the sound of that. I mean, I do have a mage, too. I need to level them up. Give a war cry. Nope. Just to help me a little. Oh, I'm missing! Down again. Good night. Say good night. Die! <laughs> oh, no! What? That's a little bit of health. Are you kidding me? Oh, there it is. She's done. Good night. She's like, You look cool. Thank you. I look cool. I do. Oh, I need to play my warrior a little bit more. Oh, I got a dagger. Frostbite. Frostbite dagger. That is cool. I walk in style. I cut the air, and it bleeds. Gold coins, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching. Okay, I decided I'm gonna hang up this armor and give it to my warrior. But I have to be a certain level, I'm pretty sure. I, I don't know. I'm just gonna put it on this mannequin for now and just leave it there. And when I start to level up my warrior, I will, will come back to this location and I will just take it. And then that's it. I have been trying my best to collect different type of armors that drop in the game. From different monsters, from different locations and missions. Look at the grill. It's gold. Yeah, look at the bling. That looks so Cool. I could just totally see this in different colors and look at this it looks good with the cape too and my warrior's gonna look stylish I me I think I look stylish oh look my wings are turning black what oh there they go look it must be the lighting. It has to be lighting. I'm thinking evil thoughts. So if you do see the mission, guys, make sure you do have some money on you so you can get this armor because it is worth it. It looks cool. I like it. Oh, just to learn the recipe would be awesome. Oh, you see the dragon, huh? Okay, this is a dragon that you can ride in the game, but you do have to have the downloadable content which I think I paid nine dollars and ninety nine cents for they do have certain sales that will pop up it is the druid it's not this one I bought that one it's this one right here so is it worth buying yes it is why because they do have you do these missions these dungeon missions over and over again it's kinda like Dungeons Defenders something like that to where you have to prevent the monsters from getting to a certain place you have to lay down some traps and they give you coins these coins can be used to get different mounts a dragon or a unicorn or a black panther or a skeleton or even a chicken <laughs> that you can ride 
Now, with the wings that I have on, I could jump extremely high up in the air. I'm not flying, I'm floating. That. So me and Janet, we did these missions over and over to get the ability to use that mount as well as learn how to make the wings. That's it. This is Comanche Native, and I'll see you next time.